The AACR Science and Survivor Program emerged from survivor and advocacy movements that started somewhere around 1993. The enormous power of patient advocates and their ability to make positive change and accelerate cancer research really became apparent to us. We started planning through our public education committee to set up something unique, something that wouldn't be just another group, but something that would be uniquely AACR. 1998 was the first year that we decided to pursue a program that would be called the Science of Survivor Program. The broad vision of the program was really to bring together scientists and patient advocates to discuss issues in the field and to really forge new partnerships and collaborations. AACR recognized that the solutions to cancer would come from a unified front, scientists, clinicians, advocates, all sectors working together. The double arrow going back and forth was Dr. Barker's idea to really show that there would be an impact on both constituencies. I came away from the conference fired up. I networked with supportive advocates and gained new ideas. SSP inspired the Why We Are Here board in my laboratory. It serves as a daily reminder that our work in the laboratory is for the patients. The most valuable aspect of the Scientist Survivor Program is the growth you inevitably experience from connecting with the surrounding cancer community. I have learned a lot from the many survivors I've interacted with through this program. Their resolve and dedication inspires me to press forward urgently with my own cancer research. For the first time in over 25 years, I felt that my personal cancer experience meant something and my advocacy would continue to have an impact. Patient advocates and survivors who participate in scientific endeavors are really important to the scientific process, and increasingly so. For example, pancreatic cancer, because of our advocates, they actually took what was a very sort of low-profile program then at the NCI into an incredibly important program. The same thing was true for other cancers. Patient advocates have been very active in helping to design clinical trials, to increase funding for cancer research, and to educate the public and give them a better understanding of what they need to know in order to strengthen their opportunities for survival and health. The fact that we have these patient advocates now serving on peer review panels, being part of science, I think is really bringing the human element to science. The power of advocates is enormous. It's clear to all of us that we can do much more together, collaboratively, to be able to address the scourge of cancer. Going forward, I think that we have a whole new set of challenges because so much of what we're gonna do in the future is going to be dependent on feedback from patients, interactions with patients, and the science is going to be very heavily influenced by that. So I think to start to plan around that in terms of how we truly bring patients into the science we're going to do in the future is a huge challenge for the SSP. This program could be expanded widely to other countries. It already is being replicated in Japan by one of the graduates of the program. And clearly, we can have an international impact. One of the things that happens with our patient advocates being featured on Cancer Today magazine is that this magazine touches many hundreds of thousands of subscribers and readers online, and they learn how these advocates have been effective in their work, but also they are inspired and it helps them to get through their own cancer. When we set up the program, our fondest hope was that these communities understand each other. They have a lot of common problems, they have a lot of common issues, and they have a lot of common goals. That two-directional arrow meant everything to us. The Sciences Survivor Program has as its primary goal to increase the number of survivors in this country as well as around the world. And we can only do that through knowledge changing the face of cancer is what we're all about.